In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test the mining functionality in the new SafeX blockchain testnet. Now, as it stands right now with the current build uh, and release of the testnet, you can only mine with your CPU. There will be functions added in the next few weeks which will allow you to mine with your GPU, and you'll be able to also mine with your GPU through a, a mining pool, um, as you would with any Kryptonite uh, based coin. So here, if you've watched my previous video on how to compile and build the CephX blockchain, you will have two windows open. First of all is the window, is the terminal open with the blockchain, uh, which is synchronized and running. Once that's running, you will then create and open your own wallet um, using another terminal. And the command, quite simply, is start mining. There are a few commands that you need to add to this, and I'll just break down it uh, simply for you. So you've got the start mining command. You will then need to add the address in which you want to send your mining earnings to. And then the second argument is how many CPU cores you want to mine with. Now for me, this is my address that I want to send my earnings to. This is how many cores uh, I want to use. I'm actually going to reduce that down to two because I'm, I'm filming and uh, I don't want it to uh, slow down my computer. If you're not familiar, with, if you're not sure what your address is for your SafeX coins, simply go into your wallet and if you've just started it, it should tell you what your opening balance is with the address. If you can't find that for any reason, just type in address and it will give you your uh, SafeX address there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this command. I'm just going to delete my previous thing there. Paste it into a terminal. There you go. Got my two cores starting to mine now. Now it might take a, a few minutes for me to find a block because there are a few people on the network. So the more people that are on the network, the less likely uh, is you will find a block unless you've got a, a lot of um, CPU cores uh, and a powerful computer doing the mining. So I'll pause the video here and I'll show you when a new block appears. So here we have it. This is our first block found uh, since we started mining. You can see from the blockchain daemon there it says blo uh, found block for difficulty 25312. And you can see in the wallet uh, I've received 30 SafeX coins. Yeah, as a reward for finding that block. Now that took uh, roughly, let's see, when did I start the mining? So it took, where are we? About five minutes. That took about five minutes for it to, uh, four or five minutes for it to find its own first block. If I was using more cores, there's a higher chance that I'd find a block. So I'm just gonna stop that by doing this command, stop mining. Just minimize that. Now, if you want to check your balance in the wallet, just simply use the command balance. I've already been mining for quite a few days. Uh, when we first, when they first released the blockchain, there weren't many people on there mining, so I was able to, to capitalize on that and um, do about 48 hours worth of mining before more people jumped on the network. Once you start adding GPUs into the mix. Um, the difficulty will obviously go up, um, but that's a, a good thing for the long term use of the um, SafeX blockchain. The more people that are mining, the more mining power available, and uh, just the better it is for the, the whole ecosystem. So, whilst we're in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, to do a transaction, how to send SafeX tokens uh, to another person. If you type in the help command again, you will see this command here. It's called transfer. Now it shows you all the different arguments that are needed to perform the transaction. So we're going to construct a transaction here. So transfer. Transfer. 
then what you'll need is the person's address, the receiver's address. Um, I'm just going to jump on Discord real quick and just find a. There's one. So, Scarrow, you're going to get some SafeX cash in a minute. Uh, if you jump onto the SafeX Discord, we have a testnet feedback for, um, channel for you to be able to discuss everything that's going on with it. So, so you do a transfer, put the receiver's address in, um, and then you see how much you want to send so the next note this so the next statement is how much you want to send I'm going to send him a thousand I'm feeling oops, feeling quite generous so if you run that it'll ask you for the wallet password it'll say no payment ID is included in the transaction is that okay uh, in this instance yes uh, he doesn't know that he's receiving it anyway so it doesn't really matter just do yes and then it will ask you to just confirm. It will give you the fee, how much you send in. Just press yes again. Yep. There you go. So it tells you to run show transfers. And it will show you all the transfers going in and going out. If you want, you can do the command just transfers going out or transfers just coming in. So there we have it, that's how you're able to mine in the current state of the blockchain and also how to do some basic functionality like send uh, SafeX cash to another person and also check status and check your transactions in and out. Now when once you've finished with the wallet, the best thing you need well the, the most important thing you need to do is to make sure that it's safe. Uh, because it's always synchronizing with the balance of the um, blockchain. Um, it just needs to make sure so there you have it we've learned how to start mining SafeX and also how to perform a transaction uh, directly through the command line interface future versions uh, will include an actual graphical wallet uh, what you would uh, like what you'd be used to with the current SafeX uh, there'll also be GPU, GPU mining um, facilities available. If we'd be able to use your GPUs, I know there's quite a lot of GPU miners out there that are very, very keen to, to get involved in mining SafeX. Uh, what else is there? There is also, uh, I'll, I'll be starting a SafeX mining pool as well. Uh, a few people have requested a mining pool, so as soon as a certain functionality being added to the wireless, I'm, I'm waiting for the uh, wallet RPC right now, so I can um, so my mining so my mining pool software can communicate with the wallet correctly and to be able to distribute the uh, Cephex cash balances out uh, appropriately. So yeah, this is uh, still very early beta. Um, still a lot more functionality being added daily uh, to to the blockchain. So most likely, what you'll need to do is to recompile and recompile each time there's a new update. Uh, to test out the new features. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, there's also, as I pointed out earlier, there is uh, a testnet specific channel on the Discord. Join the Discord. Uh, I'll leave a link in the bottom in the description to show you how to do that. Um, and if you've got any other requests for videos uh, you're not sure how to do a certain thing, let me know and I'll do my best to get a video up. I'll also be doing the written version of this and uploading it to SafeX News as well. Um, if you haven't got the facilities to, to keep watching the video, you can uh, maybe have a printed version for you to be able to um, use in any instance. Okay, well thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next videos.